Yidashimase! Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday, and on the menu this week we have Thunder Dragon 2, a very orthodox shooting game. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From publisher NMK, Thunder Dragon 2 released to arcades in 1993. So this is a title that I've had a lot of fun with so far. It's a really enjoyable shoot 'em up, especially if you're a fan of more traditional vertical scrolling titles. So this is of course Thunder Dragon 2. It doesn't have a ton of connection to the original Thunder Dragon, but they're both titles that are definitely worth your time. So throwing coins into the machine, we're taken to this rather pretty uh, background here. This game is also possible to play in uh, simultaneous co-op, so we'll be showing the title off that way, as there are some differences between the two player ships. Starting the game... Starting the game... We see one of the first fun Easter eggs that this title happens to have. So when you begin a stage, you can shoot the letters that uh, are present on screen, and if you destroy all of them, you'll either get a point bonus or perhaps an extra bomb drop, which, depending on where you happen to be at in the stage, can really help your chances at uh, basically achieving a high score. Uh, and with uh, shoot 'em up in this era, especially, that's uh, one of the driving factors: is how high of a score can you get in this particular title. And uh, what's one thing I do truly appreciate about this title is the scoring and the score attack. But more on that in just a moment. So right off the bat, you can see that uh, it is a relatively standard horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up. We're a little limited on our options for attack. You really just have one fire button. And depending on which uh, player ship you are, player 1 or player 2, your attack will be a little bit different. In addition to your main shot, we also have a bomb. For player 1, it's uh, more like that carpet bomb sn um, snake uh, that the game's manual refers to as the buster snake. And for player 2, it's this awesome uh, nuke which is called the... Hammer. Throughout the course of the stage as well, we'll be picking up uh, P power-ups, which uh, power up your main shot. Uh, you can start at a level 1, and you can power it all the way up uh, three times to a level 4. The two player ships do have different shot types as well, and that's one of the things that uh, helps them really stand out. So player 1 has a spread shot that overall is more powerful, and player two has a somewhat weaker straight laser, but that's made up for by the player two ship being faster, more agile, and also the missiles that uh, you can equip on player two are homing, whereas on player one they're a straight fire um, missile. So we've covered the uh, three various power-ups that you can obtain. The P for powering up your main shot, B for uh, additional bombs, and then there's also the M for your missiles. But you might have noticed that there's a lot of uh, power, or rather metals, appearing on screen, and those largely have to do with the scoring mechanics that the game has. So there are four different, or rather three different sized metals, and then there's a special type of metal. Um, so these small purple ones are worth 500 points just across the board. But these like mid-sized purple are like uh, where the real meat of the scoring is. So each time you pick one up, they'll increase in point value, starting at 100 and going all the way up to 10,000. And that uh, will remain at 10,000 until you happen to... Uh, lose a life at which point it resets. So if you're looking for a high score attack in this game The longer you can stay alive The better off you'll be um, These particular um, power or rather scoring items can be obtained usually from destroying large enemies or um, uh, Enemy emplacements, but sometimes are actually just hidden on the edges of the stage uh, kind of like these blue ones that are uh, the last type of metal I haven't talked about yet. So the blue ones uh, have to do with, or rather tie in with your bomb. If you collect three of those, you'll get a bomb power up, once again allowing you to continue a run further uh, as the bomb 
deals a significant amount of damage, especially against the bosses, and also provides for invulnerability while you're using it. So one thing I really also enjoy about this title, and it was something that I enjoyed with the original Thunder Dragon as well, even though the games don't have a lot of bearing on with each other, is just the beautiful pixel art, specifically in the enemy design. So the two games went in different uh, directions. Thunder Dragon um, has more of a futuristic look, whereas in this one, where instead of flying a futuristic um, like cyber-like uh, copter, we're flying more traditional um, uh, propeller-based like uh, planes. Uh, they both still have uh, beautiful pixel art. Although one like uh, a feeling that I've kind of have with the game overall is that the backgrounds are a little on the drab side. Uh, but. Like, uh, that's a uh, minor complaint to the relative, like, uh, fun and enjoyment I've gotten from the title. And I haven't actually talked about one of the things that has just, like, uh, pleased me the most with this one. So throughout the course of your gameplay, you'll have sound clips that play with uh, various um, actions that you perform uh, with your uh, playership or when you happen to also, um, like, lose a life or... Uh, continue the like the you'll get these sound clips from the, I'm assuming the pilots that you're um, representing that say like uh, these different uh, kind of like uh, silly phrases so um, they're a little bit like uh, garbled as the sound clips aren't of the best quality um, so you can kind of choose to interpret them however you will but like uh, when the player one ship for example uses its bomb uh, you hear something that's like, I have a present for you! Or uh, when you die, it's like, uh, gosh dang it, I can still get you! Or something along those lines. It's really a fun way to kind of like uh, just experience the title, just like uh, hearing those like uh, silly sound clips over and over again. And they're different for the player one and the player two as well. So if you're playing the game co-op, you'll get to hear both of those just adding to the sheer silliness and enjoyment of a title that otherwise would be a relatively run-of-the-mill um, shoot-em-up. So a weird thing for me to enjoy, but really that's like one of the things that has uh, really brought a smile to my face about this title. So as far as the minus flavors are concerned, really it just uh, happens to do with, uh, I feel like they could have been a bit more detailed with uh, the art that the um, game was presenting, specifically in the backgrounds itself. Although one thing that is true in one of the stages where you do have a bit more uh, detail to the background, it does make it a bit harder to tell what's going on. So that kind of might be a double-edged sword. And then uh, it's a rather uh, traditional shoot 'em up in that uh, the enemies will always appear in the same direction, uh, in the same places. But uh, one problem you can encounter with that is like this enemy right here. If you didn't know he was uh, coming, it's possible that you could be uh, or receive a sneak attack from that particular enemy, and that's something that uh, gets worse the further you get into the game, the more difficult the title um, becomes. But on the plus side, so I really uh, do enjoy the simple scoring mechanic that the game has. Just having a particular power up that, uh, or rather metal, uh, that increases in value the more you collect and then maintains that value as long as you don't die is one of my uh, favorite methods to score attack a game. Um, there are uh, several titles that have had similar mechanics that I really enjoy. So uh, that's one thing that has really pleased me about this one. And then I just feel like this one is just a really fun title. Even if it's uh, just because it has some silly voice clips saying like, God damn it, I'll get you next time. It's just <laughs> that kind of uh, thing isn't what you would expect for uh, this sort of shoot 'em up and it just really adds to the enjoyment of the title. So, Thunder Dragon 2, served up for your enjoyment. 
this is definitely a recommendation for me as it's just been a lot of fun for me to play through multiple times at this point. I've just really enjoyed my time with this one. Alright, well, that just about wraps it up for this week's episode of Shoot'em Up Saturday. As always, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. I'm gonna be the hell out of you this time.